Today I'm going to show you a little secret on how to create full body stability, which is going to help you prevent injuries during your training. What's up everybody, how you doing? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness. Before I get into this video, I just wanted to thank everybody that registered for Intelligent Strength last week. Um, we had an awesome turnout, over 100 people registered for it, so I'm very excited for all of you that are on the program. Um, some of you didn't register, or some of you didn't take advantage of the support group yet, right? So, you know, like I said, I had about 115 or so people register for Intelligent Strength. There's only a fraction of you that are actually in the support group. So, if you registered for Intelligent Strength, make sure you actually get into the support group because, you know, that's really gonna help you out and it's really going to help you get the best results from the program. Now in today's video I want to show you a technique or at least discuss one um, that is kind of like a little known secret or it's something that's oftentimes forgot about um, and it's a very powerful strategy that can really reduce your chance of any kind of orthopedic injury during your training. What this all has to do with is joint stability and joint stability really refers to the muscles that are around a joint that attach on a joint that when they contract bring stability to the joint. They stop uncontrolled motion from occurring at that joint. This is important because it's that uncontrolled motion that occurs within the joints that is the very thing that causes injuries, especially when you're loaded, meaning when you're when you're holding weights, right? So like oftentimes to give you an example, one way where people lose, you know, stability um, is in their spine when they're doing deadlifts, right? Like They'll be doing deadlifts, they'll be maintaining optimal form as they're you know, doing the deadlift, their spine will stay in a neutral position. As they start to get fatigued, you know, they'll round their back under load, bam, there goes a disc, right? So that's the kind of uncontrolled motion that you don't want to you know, have happen, um, especially when you're under load. And this is not just with regards to your back. This can happen in any joint in the body, your shoulders, your hips, your knees. They're all the same. You want all of those joints in your body to be stable and you don't want any motion to occur in your joints unless you specifically intend that to happen, especially you know, while you're under load, while you're lifting weights. So I called it a secret earlier, but it's not really a secret. Really what you need to do to create full body stability during all of your you know, training exercises is, just, is to just brace really hard, right? Um, you wanna contract all of the muscles that you can in your body at once. People oftentimes know about the importance of bracing their core, bracing their body um, when they're doing big compound exercises like squats and deadlifts, but it's easy to forget about it when you're doing things like bicep curls or rows or you know any other kind of uh, exercise that's not a huge movement like a deadlift or a squat. Now it seems to be worse in people that are experienced athletes because they become so used to being in the gym, they're strong, they forget about these basic things like bracing and then they find out that you know they injure themselves because they weren't braced properly on that one rep that really like tweaked their shoulder. So even with an exercise like dumbbell row, it doesn't really matter what you're doing, you need to maintain that full body bracing, not just the core either. You wanna keep everything as tight as possible, right? So once you get set up, into a good position with whatever exercise you're doing, right? Tighten everything up. Don't let any motion occur in any joint except for the exact joint that you intend to have move during the motion, right? So it's, it, lots of people don't like to do this intuitively because the more musculature that you have contracting at once, the more exhausting it is, right? So if you're really focused on you know, lifting the weight, you know, to ask you to like add more energy to the exercise or take more energy out of you by squeezing the whole body, lots of people don't like to do that. But if you're trying to lift forever and have you know, a sustainable routine, then you need to be doing this. So now that you know the importance of bracing, it's important to also realize that there are exercises that you can do to strengthen the core that will really help with it. And those are, you need to be doing direct training for your core in order to be able to brace optimally, right? There's like this school of thought that you're like training your core when you're doing like functional exercises or your core is working a lot when you're doing deadlifts and things like that. You need to be training your core directly. You're not getting enough core work if you're not training it directly. Deadlifts, they will activate some deep core musculature, but definitely not enough. You need to be doing exercises that 
cause your body to resist going into extension, exist, resist rotation, and also resist lateral flexion. And basically, I've included several videos, if you're watching this on YouTube, I've included several videos on core training exercises that I really like um, in the description down beneath this video um, that help you with all of those things, right? So Paloff Press is a good one. Um, you know, anti-extension stability ball rollout is another good one. Any kind of like side plank is good for the lateral, uh, you know, flexion. But basically, you need to be training your core directly in order to be able to brace your core optimally and prevent injury in your spine as well as up higher in your shoulder, neck, and down at your hips too. Um, you know, just by lifting weights, if you're not doing direct core work, it's kind of like your glutes. Those also need to be strengthened directly. If you're not doing direct work for them, they're probably undertrained and not as strong as they should be. And in this case, if they're not as strong as they should be, they're going to take away from your ability to brace as effectively and as, as intensely as you need to. There you go. I hope you liked this video. I hope this added value. I hope you found some insight. Or maybe I just reminded you of something that you already knew, which I think is important too. Because like I said, a lots of times advanced athletes forget this kind of stuff. They forget to stay braced all the time, which is just very important because it only takes one bad rep under load to really, you know, suffer a big injury and, you know, lots of times that can be prevented with proper bracing uh, strategies. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do that over here. Also, if you haven't yet downloaded my ebook, Posture the Ultimate Life Hack, make sure you pick up a copy of that for yourself. It's free. It's right over here. It's basically a book that I put together all about um, posture, why it's important, and how to improve it. Lastly, if you're somebody that's struggling with lots of muscle imbalances, joint inflammation, joint mobility problems, joint stability problems, and you just don't know what to do about it, or if you're somebody that's, you know, tried everything to fix your issues and nothing's really gotten you to where you want to be, then check out my coaching page. There'll be a link for it in the description down beneath this video. Other than that, I'll see you next time.